Hello everyone, I'm Bianca Bazilla, your Miss Teen Canada Globe 2021, and I'll be your MC for tonight. Today the girls will be competing for the Miss Spirit Award Challenge, where they will be talking about struggles they had in their life and experiences and how they overcame that with the boost of confidence. So now let's hear about the girls. Hi everybody, my name is Rochelle Houle. I am 37 years old. I am your Miss of Alberta. I am here to share with you my struggle with addiction. So for the majority of my adulthood, I did struggle with a bad alcohol and drug addiction, which I can say did really ruin a lot of my life. I, I did throw away a lot of my life and I lost a lot of things in the process of my addictions. And in 2015, my stepfather, the man who raised me had passed away and that's when I decided to um, end my addictions, uh, both with drugs and alcohol. I began to work on myself. I began to um, start looking for a job and uh, I, I tried to go back to school, which um, I ended up getting pregnant and having three children. So. Um, they were a lot of uh, the, the push for me to even get better. So in the last three years, I did really do a lot of work internally. I started working on my confidence, my self-esteem, just a lot of inner work. So that's what got me here today. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brittany Dennis. I am Miss Petite, Nova Scotia. I am 28 years old. My spirit story challenge is about bullying and mental health. I've been bullied for the past 20 years during my teenage years in middle school and high school. And I struggled with mental health all my life. I've been struggling with depression and anxiety because I'm a very quiet girl and very shy. But I'm still, I, mean, I am a strong, independent woman till this day. And I always been myself around family and friends and I never changed, so I am very happy for who I am today. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jennifer Mansfield. I'm your Miss Teen Ontario Canada Globe. And my story is, is that when I was younger, I joined a modeling workshop, and every time I would go, I would always end up crying. And I didn't want to be part of it because I was really scared and I didn't know what I was doing. But then I kept going because I wanted to improve my skills in modeling. And then in 2019, I got recruited for Miss Preteen. So I went and I was really nervous. I didn't know what I was doing, but I met a lot of amazing people who helped me through it. And I got to learn new skills. I got to be part of fashion shows. And then during 2020, I met a lot of more people who helped me throughout the whole week of the pageant. And they were really amazing and I really enjoyed hanging out with them and it really boosted my self-esteem and my confidence in modeling. And now I'm doing Miss Teen Canada Globe this year. Hi everybody, I'm Wendy Lung, Miss of British Columbia. I'm here to share with you some struggles that I have been through. Um, I have been uh, survived severe medical illnesses, which include three knee sur open knee surgeries that were painful to recover from. But that was not the most painful experience. And um, what was more painful than the physical illness was mental illness. I had depress major depression. And I, at one point it was so severe that I was suicidal. And I, um, I thought of killing myself. However, um, deep down, I knew I have strength inside. And I know that voice is not my voice, that was from my illness. So I chose to stay alive and I chose not to listen to that voice and to seek treatment and face my illness. And today I have proudly recovered and I have kept my job even though other people have told me to just give up and take a break, but I did not. Today I'm working proudly as a health information systems analyst in a field where I am proud to serve in, in public health care. And I am also your Miss of British Columbia as a role model for the whole BC province. And I'm hoping to become the next Miss of Canada. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tatum Assiniboine. I am Miss Manitoba Globe 2024. 
and I'm here to talk about uh, one of my stories that was a big part of my life. So part of that story is about the addiction that I went through in my young years from when I was a teenager to a young adult. I went through a really hard time in my teenage years to the time I was a young adult and that addiction lasted me about four years. So part of the reason I fell into that addiction is because of the vulnerable situation I was in and also having friends and family and living in areas where these drugs were so accessible, it didn't make it any easier for me to quit. So as I mentioned, that addiction was part of my life for four years and I'm happy to say that I am two years clean almost in, I'm almost two years clean in August. So I'm very happy to say that. And I always told myself in addiction that I'd always be an addict, but I think that was just part of me trying to justify um, keeping up with the addiction. And I just want to say, like, if you ever find yourself in this situation, there's always time to recover. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm recovering and I'm happy and I'm doing a lot better now. And yeah, so that's part of my big story. And I thank you for listening.